Welcome to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Right then, player ratings, difficult on this. Obviously we won the game, we thought we'd win the game. We won it 3-1 in the end, but we still have to do the player ratings. Um, absolutely devastated here, but Alisson for me, yes, he concedes a goal. The goal for them was way too easy to score, by the way. I mean, I was sitting right up in the gods in the upper main, and you could see that ball was just going to come across and he can't miss from there, Neto. So the start was super disappointing. And actually, there's been a few poor starts. If you look at Villarreal, if you look at um, other games this season where we've conceded early, that's so not like Liverpool. But at the end of the game, it, you're not even talking about it because it was 3-1 and, and we won. But Alisson, for me, shares the golden boot, sorry, the golden glove. No, definitely not the golden boot. Shares the golden glove with Edison, 20 clean sheets, basically one in two. Uh, or just more than that and easily the best goalkeeper in the world for me gets an eight today made a really important save actually when it, when it was one all um, the right back today Trent I thought he started off slow if I'm honest defensively left a lot of uh, space um, in behind which they definitely targeted um, but then he definitely came into the game defensively improved so much and then attacking we all know what he brings to the team he's I think he's finished with the most assists in the Prem so we've pretty much won every award you can win apart from the actual Prem. It's unbelievable. Um, he gets an eight for me today. Kanate and Matip, again, defensively slow to start with. Getting muscled off the ball by Raul Jimenez. Caught lacking in positional awareness. But I have to give both of them a seven, seven and a half today. Left back Robertson scored a great goal. I was actually sitting next to a couple of mates and I said, that's the one thing with Robertson is he hasn't got that, that finishing uh, down to a tee yet. But great finish today. Um, scores a third goal, he gets a nine, up and down all day. Um, and in the midfield, Thiago obviously had to come off uh, just before half time, which is heartbreaking. I mean, he, he played a ball over to Trent and the ball went over Trent's head and everyone had a moan and a groan. And then he kind of just stopped talking, stopped walking, and then you, you could see him limp him. Um, and genuinely, if there was one player on that pitch today, that I did not want to get injured before the Champions League final, it's Thiago Alcantara and he got injured today. He was playing well as well, so he gets a seven from me before he went off. Naby Keita, Henderson, uh, Milner that came on, have to group them all with a uh, seven and a half today. Again, really on it in terms of aggression, in terms of play. Um, but that midfield today at times was, was giving uh, Ruben Neves a lot of space. I don't know if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. But Ruben Neves had a lot of time and space in the middle of the pitch today, and he's a very good player, isn't he? You heard or you will be hearing Matt Cooper talk about Neves. Um, so that's the midfield. And then up front, Jota didn't play great, gets a six. Diaz, again, probably should have scored a couple of goals today. Starting to not worry me at all, but I'd like to see him put the ball in the back of the net a bit more, Luis. Um, si estás viendo, eh, tienes que ensurrar que el temporada próxima tienes que marcar más goles. Por favor, el Dios. Um, and then Mo Salah gets his goal to share the golden boot with Sonny. 22 goals for him in 38 games. Um, he gets an eight for me when he came on. Firmino did well too, he gets a six. Uh, Mane gets a seven for me as well. Scored a great goal actually to, to equalize. And then a massive shout out to Divo Karigi. For me, Jurgen Klopp, he gets a 9.5 out of 10 as a rating for the whole season. Just, just out of this world, what this man can, can do with a set of players and a budget. Divo Carigi, a massive shout out to him, man. This is last time he'll be involved in a game at Anfield. Legend just isn't the word for Divo. He's way more than that. And he means so much more to this fan base than, than anything else. So massive shout out to the legend that is Divo. All the best at AC Milan. But there you go, guys. That is your player ratings. We'll give you the fan cams now. Deflated. Exhausted, if I'm honest. I was out last night. Um, <laughs> but yeah. It is what it is guys, we haven't won the Premier League this time, but we go again next season and obviously there's still Paris to fight for. So heads up, we go again. Take care, all the best. Whoa, 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 just before you go, don't forget, give us a like, drop us a comment and subscribe to the Cop TV. The voice of football's most famous stand.